Rangus heifers, heifers got some bone, big bodied, all the way in thousand now, won't they? Nine something anyway. They're all one to three months bred. Brangish, brangish, but the sun's kind of going down, but trust me, these winches are good. Big bone, deep ribbed. A <laughs> couple of nice baldies in here. What's wrong with that heifer? Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Good cow, though. I like these heifers here. Nice heifers. Calf heifer pairs. Uh, not the shiniest bitches in the world. Never said they were, but they'll make money. Um, the calves, all these little dudes weigh 200, 225 probably. Put them on some winter, some winter grass. Most all of them are red back. It looks like to me, you know, ones in two months. I mean, hell, these little calves. Put them on some grass. They, they don't gain 50 pounds overnight. Seems like worm them good. Turn them out some winter grass. They're done. Yeah, they're all bred back. You're all three ones. Yeah, they're all bred back for fall calvers, guys. These are nice little calves. Again, get them. They, they look like they came from somewhere up north. I, I actually, uh, I think you worm the hell out of these calves. Turn everything on grass and forget about them because they're done bred back. You don't have to wean the calves. Let these calves get 350 or somewhere at the feed yard. Boy, put them in the feed yard. No, it'll shine real fast. I do think it'd be a good investment, guys. They'll make money. Young, young, young. I mean, they're all three in ones. Probably 30 of them in 25 in this deal. Look at the little Angus calves. These guys, these kind of, they're, the calves are worth 250 a pound like they are. Again, warm them good, turn them out some good grass. They'll make a killing, I promise. And crush on these heifers. They're good, aren't they? Some deep rib. They're all sevens and eights, full of baby. Like these heifers. Yeah, let's keep in mind it's the dead of winter. It snowed here today. Good heifers though. Three eighths, you know, quarter buds, but they're all have good ear and good navel. There's some good ones in here, boys. Good heifers. We're really try I'm gonna try to own these. They're the kind. Hey. <laughs> the way thousand now won't they oh we a thousand maybe a little more actually some of these girls are bigger than others but they're pretty some pretty uniform i like these cattle again they're all seven to eight months bred real really nice heifers i like them hopefully i'll own these girls tomorrow well, actually but a couple sixes but they're all they're all third trimester both all third trimester cattle really nice heifers though bring this heifer. In Hereford heifers, I believe they're bred to Angus bulls, uh, low birthday bulls, uh, but they're heavy springing. Most of them are eights. These are uh, these are one deal of heifers, one deal, probably 25, 30 in this deal. You know, not they're they're in ranching shape, guys. They're not big. They're, right now, they're not pig fat, obviously. But you, who I probably like to count my heifers this way anyway. You know, they weigh nine ish, don't they? Eight something. Herbert's gonna hard to guess weights on her. Eight. Eh, they weigh nine something, I think. Again, they got their working clothes on. But they're all third trimester guys. All third trimesters. Uh, gonna cab between basically February and March. By May, June, you'll have your Brahmin bull and uh, and eleven months, you'll be having your F1 calf. So there you go. I think they're better Angus bulls, but I'll check and see. You're not the pig, not pig fat cow by any means, but symmetrical little group of heifers. I'm F1 time. Heavy bred heifers, guys. They're, they're all sevens and eights. Looks like me. All sevens and eights. Girls, I'm insuring some real cows here, boys. Pay attention to these girls. F1, heavy bred. You know, they're not pig fat by any means, but boy, I'd rather cab them like this than weighing. Then weighing 1,400 pounds of pig fat to pull this damn cast. So uh, I would guess bred low birth weight Angus or Brangus. You know, it's kind of the MO most these guys do around here. But I'll obviously I'll know that by 
prior to the sale. But good F1s, guys. Good F1s. You get the cast out of them, they're worth. Who know? Who knows what an F one's even worth now? I got people. I sell probably as most anybody in the country, and man, they're just whew, who knows. Think about. I do know about these cat these heifers in ten years, twelve years, in the right situation, they will be having big strapping calves for you. I promise you that. So these girls are investment in the future. Right now, those seven weight calves are bringing a thousand, you know, or six weights anyway, bringing that. So. I mean, what is she worth? The, the value she brings to the table is, huh, I mean, two years, five years ago, people were buying these cattle that cats were worth 600 bucks. People were paying 1250 for them. Well, now these same cattle are worth 2000. So the cat, two years of cats worth, you know, close to 2000 bucks. So shouldn't these cattle cost at least 2000? Cause she cost 12, five, six years ago when you had cats were at 600. So. How do you value, you know, it's hard to value cattle right now, but I promise you that these girls will make you money for many years. Sell so tomorrow. Woo, girls. I'm going down, but I like these young Brangus cows, guys. They're all third trimesters. Kind of got some bone, you know, they're, they're from, Quarter bloods to three eighths catch these pretty good, but good, nice looking cattle. You know, I'm proud to look at these cattle, kind of four and five year olds, I would think. Kind of weigh maybe 12, don't they? They're all third trimesters, six and sevens. Good cattle. I like there's probably 20 here. I like these cows though. Really nice cow. And good flesh too. Heavy bred Brayford heifers. Oh, look to be like 12 in this offering. They're nice heifers though. It's seven, sevens and eight months bred. I like these heifers. A bunch of really nice cows. Good good disposition, those girls. And they're full of baby tail like and there's four, five, six, seven. I think 12 in here. I think they're all eight months bred. Eight, there's a couple sevens, yeah. Joys are eight months bred. So in 45 days, theoretically, they should all be calved out. But I like these. Good effort. 